Ryan Marcy, these establishments are all over the valley. We see them, but what's really going on? Why are they still open if they're not supposed to be paying out money? And how much are these establishments affecting our local residents? We spoke to someone who could give us those answers while protecting his identity. It's a $300 million industry, a cash flow funneling in and out of the valley, all generate through eight liner game rooms across Cameron County. But as one ex employee says, Plane comes at a price. People going bankrupt, people losing everything because of these game rooms. You know, I've seen it to where you see these people come in a brand new car and, you know, four months later they're getting rides. This ex-employee calls it an addiction. Some people playing as much as 14 hours inside the game rooms. At times getting desperate and asking others for money to try and recover what they've lost. This man says at times thousands of dollars. The first of the month is indication of when the busiest time is. It's obviously low income, people on you know, their welfare, social security. Friday night, five eight-liner establishments in Cameron County were raided for illegally paying out cash. According to Texas state law, only prizes for as little as $5 in cash can be paid out. Investigators say these places prey on a certain group of people. We've gotten phone calls where people are missing for two or three days, and after a long search of these people, we find that the, the, the poor old uh, elderly man or woman have been at a eight-liner for the past two or three days sleeping in their car, and this is happening. This, this is happening, and this is, as the DA said, this is what it breeds. And they know how to entice people. This ex-employee says they have a system to get people in and keep them there. When the game rooms will just open, those are the ones you want to go to, apparently, because they're a lot looser. They pay out more so that the people get addicted and want to keep coming back. And then as they start paying out or whatever, they tighten them up. He says it's a scary environment where corruption does exist. But why do workers stay? He says it's simple. Jobs are hard to find, and when you're struggling to make a living, you will take employment where you can get it. To make a living, I guess. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. I'm not getting rich at all, doing anything. I'm just, just trying to feed the family and, you know, move on. The ex-employee says it's a nasty business. He's witnessed people inside faking robberies for money, bomb threats, money laundering, and paying cartels a share of the money just to stay in business. Cameron County Judge Casco says these establishments will be closed within the next few months. Reporting in the studio, Veronica Gallegos, Action 4 News.